Good morning, folks. We are inside of the Barn Dominium, super insulated home that we're building here. And here's the exit to the greenhouse, which is the warmest place in all of Pagosa. Gets warm as soon as the sun comes up. And we are making some progress in here on the glazing and the diamond windows and some waterproofing before any of the beds go in. And we're, we're getting... We're getting ready. We've got some repurposed wood here that we'll be building the uh, boxes out of. And we've decided that this rear wall here is gonna have uh, different layers of shelves. This upper shelf above the door is gonna have tropical plants on it. The lower shelves, because of the sunlight, are gonna have food crops on it, probably lettuces or other greens on a series of shelves. And the back wall is gonna be a thermal mass cob wall that we're gonna show you how we put up. And some of the other things we're using, hey, who's that guy? Uh, are some repurposed, more repurposed wood here. This is scabs from our friend's mill. Literally firewood that he throws out. And what we're gonna do with these is uh, take a pull blade and clean off all the bark. And right now we were just ripping some of the bark off here. And any of the bark that just comes off, we'll just grab some. Is any of that easy to come off? No. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably have to use a saw for this. But this material is all going to go in the base of our beds. So we've got a few hundred pounds of this type of forest material, bark, and rotting wood. And that's going to be the base of our hugel bed. And if you guys don't know what those are, we'll just come out to the front here. And you can see these mounds out here in the orchard. Those are hugel mounds, which are filled with wood, and so that they can compost and keep water and also catch water. And we're going to be doing a similar thing inside of the beds in the greenhouse. So that's just a way to use all your wood. And these are some thin slabs that uh, also our friend was throwing out. And we're going to be drying these out and using them as shelves in the said greenhouse. And you can just see how thick and beefy these scabs are. Look at the thickness in that. That's a nice three, three and a half inch piece of wood. So the way you use this as paneling or for raised beds is you cut a, a 90 degree edge off of this. So we're gonna run a circular saw down here after we snap a line. I can't even see if I'm, you can see me, okay there. And then we'll do the same to this size to make it two inches thick. And we'll simply use these as side panels for our boxes. I do have a drawing in there. If you wanna take a look at this. And this front area here, We've already uh, designed out, and I'll get the piece of cardboard here in the light. So you can see it's going to be uh, two keyhole beds with entry and food all around, separated by the central post here. So we're going to have one keyhole going this way with food all around and an earth tube there. Another keyhole all around here and another earth tube. These are going to come out on the sides um, of the structure and vent out into the keyhole. Now, I just got the uh, fans in we're using. They're inline four inch fans that are super silent. I think they run on 24 watts. But when we get to that part, we'll do a show on that to show you exactly the fans we're using. But the first step is to finish up the glazing, which is happening right now. Uh, get this a little bit more weatherproof and warmer and then we could put some of the insulation up here on the roof and Get the boxes built and get some food grown in here The Sun just started increasing as of the solstice and by February We will have an excellent opportunity here to start growing some food So we want to have the beds ready by February. What do you think? Ready by February. Yeah, and that's the plan All right. I hope you got something out of the update this is a lot of work, and as you can see, it's a huge area. There's just not a few things you need to do. There is a few hundred things you need to do. <laughs> as you can see here, we're still not... We're going to wait on the finished trim work and all that probably for later in the spring, but you can get a little glimpse of what the finished product looks like there at the door. All right, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Repurpose wood and save everything, because if you didn't know, bark eventually becomes soil. That's how the forest works. And that's how we work here. <laughs> we work it like the forest.
Speaking of forest, we gotta get out there, Alan. Give you a quick glimpse of the other side while you're here. I got the gimbal, finally remembered I, I have one, which is why the camera is kind of smooth. Oh, the phone's ringing. Gotta get that. <laughs> 